Hey guys. All right. So, yeah. Thank you for being here. Um, okay. So it's a lot going on in the world. Doesn't it just? Well, let's back up. Thank you, God, for blessing this time between myself and whoever views the video. All right. So let's get into it. Thank you for clarity. Thank you for resting in the midst of the conversation. All right, amen. So, um, it just seems like a lot is going on. There's a lot going on in the world. There's a lot going on with people. It's just so much. It's almost to the point where, I don't know, it's like God is moving. He's asking people to kind of like withdraw, pull back. Because I don't know what is about to happen or what will happen, but like good people, Genuine people are just kind of like pulling back, drawing back because firstly, they were instructed to do so. And then secondly, they can also feel that there's like a move about to happen. Almost like a, um, I heard like a changing of the guards. Ooh, okay. So, um, well, you know, um, the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous. So, you know, and so it could be like, um, definitely a change of the guards and, like an act, a move of, is what I'm hearing. So I don't know, you know, something is going on. I think you can feel it. I can feel it. We can all feel it. We know that there is, um, we know that there's becoming like a great divide. Um, a lot of lawlessness and frivolity and just junk has been made to be right or righteous or normal. Um, ex acceptable, like extremely acceptable, and what what used to be normal, what some would deem as normal, is made to be abnormal, um, archaic, um, out of the ordinary. You know, an old, outdated system that needs revision. Everything needs revision these days. If you, you know, if you look at the world, everything is being flipped on its head. It's been turned upside down. It's like we literally live in the upside down, you know. Um, I don't have any type of um, opinion about how any one person wants to live their life, what they want to do, where they want to go, how to, who they want to be, what they want to look like, blah, blah, blah. I could care less, you know. Being honest, you know, it doesn't affect me on a level of, to the point where... I, I I feel like I need to, you know, um, come against them just because my viewpoint is contrary. But that's not how other people feel. You know, your viewpoint can be different. It's contrary to what they believe, what they think, blah, 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 so forth. And then you will have them wanting to come against you. You will have people just wanting to attack you for your viewpoint. Have you done anything with this viewpoint? Are you, ex you know, um, are you um, inciting other people to act, to do? No, you just think that way. And you got people just, you know, um, c coming for you, wanting to argue with you. Have you ever been around people who just always want to pick your brain? And you know that they never really um, agree with you. It could even lead into an argument, but they always want to have the conversation with you or they want to see what you think about it or how you think about it. Only either to A, steal your thoughts and go somewhere and act as if they were their original thought as their own, or to B, argue with you, to always be contrary and adverse to everything you say. You say it's up, this is down. Um, they're just always coming for you, even when you're not looking for it. And then you also have people just wanting to steal your intellectual property. Um, therefore, they want to pick your pick your brain and have the conversation with you. It just seems as if there's like a, a wave happening, a move of, it's like a, a divide. Like, you know, it, unfortunate that we can't all come together. We don't live in utopia or you know, whatever. But um, we have like a divide of who thinks like this and who thinks like that. And then... You, you're eventually going to get the, the mashup, the clash, the clash of the titans, I don't know. Um, you're going to get uh, the war, the war of great minds, uh, who think they have a great mind. 
Just have a plan. Because it seems as if everything is becoming chaotic. You know, everything is becoming kind of, um, yeah, chaotic, upside down, abnormal is, is, is normal. Uh, you can't really, it's almost like you're in murky waters, you can't find your way. But, you know, he who has a plan in the midst of chaos wins. So make sure you have a plan in regards to how do you come out of this? What are you going to bring out of this? What do you learn from it? Um, maybe you just have a course of action in, in how you'll govern yourself and your household and the people that you're over. Because there is like something shifting, something happening here. Do I know what it is? No. You know, I'm not going to even, you know, profess to say, oh, I'm, oh God, don't, you know, I'm, I don't want to go that far, you know, to, to say that. Um, though I don't want to discredit or discount those who, you know, profess to have her prophetic word in regards to what will happen. You have no argument, again, from me to those who say they know that to the T, you know, of what's going to happen. I don't, you know, kudos to them, great. Um, yeah, but I don't know what's going to happen, but I definitely feel that there is something um, monumental, significant happening um, for the collective, for everybody. Every living, if you woke up in the land of the living, it's happening for you, you know. Um, so it's just about more so preparedness, being ready for it, whatever it may be. Of course, we had COVID two years ago, um, and that was, you know, significant in, in regards to death. Um, you know, we won't even get into that, but we had that. We had that event happen for us out of nowhere. We don't know what is coming, whether it's pre-packaged, pre-planned, um, premeditated, or it is more so an act of God. You have in in certain scripture where God did move or stir the minds of the wicked. So where they think it's their own, you know, um, original thought of, you know, they think it's their own diabolical um, scheme or plan, but it was, you know, you know, God just stirring the pot there like, yeah, you know, um, do that so that then I can do this over here so that, I, you know, I can make a way for, I don't know. Um, though there was a lot of quote unquote bad that came out of COVID. There was a lot of good too. You know, you, you hear the stories um, from the very small in regards to marriages being restored. People had to stay in the home. People had to, you know, actually, you know, deal with their partner on the level that maybe they hadn't dealt with in a long time. You, you heard of divorce and maybe that was the best thing for those two people. Um, friendships being bond, you know, being made, um, people finding soulmates and, you know, <laughs> having their uh, happily ever after X, Y, and Z, you know, um, people starting business uh, during COVID that flourished and they're still in business to this day, uh, two years later, right? Um, so there were good, there was good and bad. So you never know what this new thing, this monumental thing, uh, this significant thing will be in regards to what is to come. But um, it's like the universe, God is preparing us for something. And he's really calling his people back. For he says, you know, my sheep hear my voice. So I'm calling the people back and really trying to get them in a place of preparedness. Ready for? Ready for? I don't know. I'm not going to act as if I know. You, know, you fill in the blank, right? Um, of course, we have, you know, talks of war, rumors of war. And then we actually have a war that is being fought, not on our land, thank God. Um, we have, of course, the stock market doing what the stock market does. Um, it's more so just be in a place where you can hear the word of God. You won't be able to do that if you're in a place of worldliness and materialism. So kind of withdraw and take some time, meditate, steal time by yourself, 
maybe reading scripture. I don't know, whatever. Um, but you, you really have to put yourself in a place where you can um, I'm like, feel the vibration. Okay? So feel the vibration of something else, of something, the undercurrent or the underbelly of something or the, the, the brewing of something. So anyway, that's the word that I got today uh, in regards to just us as a collective in general. Uh, if you have questions or you, you just want to talk, you know, you got some, some things you want to add, go ahead and add it down in the comment section. You can always email me too. If there's a topic that maybe you want me to cover, um, go ahead and email me about that. Um, again, thank you. Uh, my email address is below. Um, I do not read the tarot for the public anymore. Um, so I don't offer that, but um, if you have a question about your own personal self, your own life, you can uh, email me and um, I can see what I can do for you. I don't know what that will be, but anyhow, um, thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.